channel. Sometimes I say bad words, and if that hits you the wrong way, then I just may not be for you. But if so, stick around and have some fun. As you guys may or may not know, I always offer monthly specials. The August special are the phone readings, $85 for an hour, normally $125. All the info to book your reading is below, and my Instagram is there as well. I will be doing live readings sometime in the near future, so follow me over there. All right, Libra, let's see what's coming in for love. What do we see coming in for Libra regarding love? August 1st through August 15th, 2019. What do we see for Libra and love, please? I've already pre-shuffled. Get that energy moving a little bit. We're going to cut it, do it, and chat about it. What's up, Libra? All right, coming into the current moment, what do we have? We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Libra. What's your challenge to that wheel? Is the moon in reverse? Major for Pisces, maybe a Cancerian. What's on your mind? The King of Wands, Leo Sag Aries energy. What happened in the recent past? Well, death showed up. Could have been a Scorpio. What's the situation? Why is all this happening? The Ace of Wands. More fire. What will you experience coming to the near future? The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. How do you see yourself, Libra? The Page of Wands in reverse. External to you is the energy coming in. The Seven of Cups in reverse. I will adjust that camera. Give me a second. In your emotions, you have the Six of Swords in reverse. And what's the outcome, Libra? The First through the Fifteenth. It's the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Maybe a Capricorn, maybe a Taurus. What's at the bottom of the deck? Your overall energy, temperance in reverse. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, all right? A lack of harmony or balance. Somebody may feel like they're just going batshit crazy or their, their emotions just aren't balanced. Somebody's not willing to compromise or some shit like that. <clears throat> All right, let's put it all together and see what we have. All right, so coming in, Libra, right now we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So things may seem a little bit stagnant or stuck. Maybe you feel like things just aren't going your way in love, Libra. Could be a karmic situation as well. But again, it's like the wheel moves. It's the universe. They come in with this energy. You really have no control over it. But with it in the reverse, I just feel like coming in right now, you guys feel like, again, fortune's not on your side or things are stagnant or stuck. And... The challenge is the moon in reverse, sign of Pisces. The challenge is probably to overcome some type of anxiety. Maybe something's come to light, things aren't hidden, some type of secret or something has come out. And because of that, you feel stagnant or something's just not going your way. But on your mind is the king of wands. It could be a Leo Sag Aries. If it's not a fire sign, it's somebody that's very charismatic, charming, good looking, could be an entrepreneur, somebody that's creative, but they go for what they want with that king of wands energy. The recent past, we have death. We're going to see what this is all about. Death has stepped in. Sign of Scorpio. Major Arcana. You can't really override death, can you? So it could have been an ending. Also could have been a transformation within an existing relationship. It's all happening because of the Ace of Wands. See, this is a passionate new beginning. An Ace starting again. Creation. Passion. Moving towards something new. Could have been kind of flighty to energy maybe it was passion only okay and because this is why everything's happening and so coming into the current moment it's like oh shit well that's not going in my favor and it may have come to light that this was just kind of a fling or something like that we're going to see what this is coming into the near future you have the ten of pentacles in reverse so somebody's not willing to commit or there's a lack of stability could be that somebody, again, isn't willing to compromise here. You're not on the same page. There's no balance or harmony or what you'll experience is it's just, it's passion. It, and it could even be like a newer relationship with this Ace of Wands and they're just not willing to commit yet. We'll see what it is. You see yourself as the Page of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> Fire energy, maybe non-communicative. The Page of Wands in reverse isn't really taking that kind of risk or isn't manifesting. Kind of feels a little bit lazy or a little lackluster in love. Because I feel like you guys might be questioning this Ace of Wands energy. All right. What are they bringing? Seven of Cups in reverse. So they see the truth. They see the reality of the situation too. They're not living in any type of illusion. Again, it could just be somebody that you're dealing with. It isn't necessarily about long-term commitment. In your emotions, Libra, what's up? Six of Wands in reverse. I'm sorry, Six of Wands. Six of Swords in reverse. So six is all about balance. Six of uh, Swords in reverse is you can't move on from somebody. You want to return to somebody. But it can also be in your emotions, Libra, that you just don't feel some sort of resolution, that you can't get to that calm place, more so mentally. 
Again, because temperance is in reverse, you might be dealing with somebody that you just can't come to common ground. There's no peaceful resolution. Or you feel like you haven't moved on from something. Maybe that ended in the past with the death card. But the outcome shows a slow and steady pace with the Knight of Pentacles. Could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. Maybe an Earth sign, Capricorn Taurus. That Knight of Pentacles is an offer, though. It's slow-moving energy, though. That Knight of Pentacles takes forever. This could just be your energy, too. Or this could be somebody coming in with an offer. Also, maybe the person that you're currently dealing with is just taking forever. Because that Knight of Pentacles is all about building for the future. Being very responsible, careful, really kind of thinking about it before they offer the Pentacle. And it's like the horse just isn't moving, Libra. So we're going to see what that offer is or why that energy is moving so slowly. But there is a passionate new beginning here. We're going to see what this is. All right, so show me Libra's love life. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what's up? August 1st through August 15th, 2019. What's up with Libra and their love life? What's coming in for Libra, please? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's up, you guys? How you doing? I missed you. Did I tell you that yet? Oh, I did. That's right. All right. Overall energy is temperance in reverse. You might be dealing with a Sagittarius. There's a lack of balance or compromise here, though. Somebody might just feel crazier than, well, crazy. Why is the temperance in reverse, the overall energy for Libra? The nine of wands in reverse. See, somebody feels like they can't persevere or that they're just giving up on somebody that's not willing to compromise or bring balance or healing to a situation. The nine of wands in reverse could be you, could be them, but it's like, I'm too tired to deal with it. It's it, that nine of wands in reverse is my screw it card. I can't do it. I'm too tired. I have too many trust issues or, you know, the past is haunting me. Why is this nine of wands in reverse? What is it? Yeah, the seven of swords. Somebody's avoiding. That's your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But somebody's avoiding with that seven of swords, okay? Also, too, it could be that this person or the person that you dealt with is just avoiding a commitment with that seven of swords. They might be leaving or maybe they've already left, caused some type of betrayal or hurt. Now, coming in, that's probably why you have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Like, things just aren't on your side. What is it? The Two of Pentacles. You're trying to weigh up your options. More Earth energy. Two is about decisions and partnerships. Try to find balance in a situation that seems to be either stuck or not going in your favor. Maybe you were dealing with a juggler. But I think that for the most part, you guys are just trying to figure out what to do. Do I do this? Do I do that? Right? Two of Pentacles. What is it? Yeah, the Seven of Cups. There's confusion here. This person that you're dealing with could have options as well. Um, with the Two of Pentacles, they're juggling. They have a lot of, of options. Maybe you have options. But I also feel like this is confusion because your challenge is the moon in reverse. It's to overcome some type of confusion, anxiety, um, things that are possibly hidden. Why is this moon here the challenge for Libra? The Seven of Pentacles to get somebody to invest and to stick around and to wait, right? So again, I feel like either you or the person you're dealing with maybe just doesn't want to be tied down and there's other options on the table. On your mind is the King of Wands, Libra. Who is it? Who is this big fat King of Wands? The Nine of Swords in reverse. Somebody that you, maybe you were once very, very kind of tied and bound or up late at night thinking about worried, a lot of anxiety and fear, right? But you overcome that with that Nine of Swords in reverse. So fire energy, what's this nine of swords in reverse on Libra's mind? What is it? The 10 of cups in reverse could be a breakup of a marriage, something like that. The 10 of cups is just feeling emotionally dissatisfied. It's interesting because that king of wands is in the upright, but this person at one time caused you guys some anxiety and some worry, but you're, you're over that. It's much better than it was. Um, and with the 10 of cups in reverse, it's just, they've left you depleted and not happy. What happened in the recent past with death? Why is this here? Son of Scorpio. What's death about in the past? The Ace of Pentacles. So there was a new beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles. So that's planting a seed. It's heading towards something new. It could have been a gift, a proposition of some sort. It has stability tied to it. What's this Ace of Pentacles about? What is it? Justice. Hi. Thanks for showing up, Libra. There you are. Libra. There you are. So reconciliation. So I feel like a lot of you guys perhaps opened up a new chapter because death could be a transformation. Okay. You could have left something in the past and started something new too. For those of you that are still with this person, you guys just went through a transformation and you were able to plant that seed and harvest it for the future. 
And then justice came in, right? This could be legalities within marriage, but this is bringing balance to a situation, okay? Or you guys just went towards something new to balance out your life. All right, because the situation is this Ace of Wands. So another Ace, newness, new beginnings. Why is this Ace of Wands in the foundation for Libra? See, the Knight of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, energy. I feel like you guys were dealing with somebody in the past where obviously um, you've gotten over it because they brought you a lot of unhappiness. You put an end to it, I think, for the most part. Some of you went through a transformation with this person, but a lot of you just ended it with death. You started on a new venture here. You brought balance and peace back to your life. Harmony, karma on your side. And now we have this new beginning with the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, energy. Very slow moving. Again, it's like taking forever, but it's all about being responsible and careful. Why? Well, those of you that are not with this newer person now, this is your energy and the foundation. You're going towards a new beginning and you're going to be very cautious and slow moving. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here in the foundation? The Ten of Wands. Another ten. Completion of a cycle, right? Because something caused you a lot of burdens, okay? I think you guys are just being very cautious and careful. I do feel like a lot of you are dealing with an earth sign, or you will be. All right? Why are these burdens here in the foundation for Libra? Pressure, burdens, feeling just overwhelmed. What is it? The Four of Swords. So you're taking a little bit of a time out to recuperate, to recover. You may have withdrawn from this past person, obviously, with death there. All right. And this is like maybe ignoring somebody or taking a break from somebody because there's just too many burdens. And now you're just being very cautious about a new beginning that's coming in. Now, what you'll experience in the near future is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So this could certainly be a breakup or a divorce or just somebody that's not wanting to jump into a long-term commitment. Libra, the Nine of Cups, to get your happiness back. That's almost in the card of just kind of dating, going out there, enjoying yourself, enjoying the finer things in life, making yourself happy with fulfillment. All right, so I think a lot of you are just getting out there again, especially with this Ace of Wands, right? You've had a lot of burdens from the past. You're getting over it. You're taking some time to recover and recuperate, but you'll be moving slowly with that Knight of Pentacles. And coming in, either you or maybe people that you're out there mingling with just are not willing to settle down right away. That's all right, right? Nine of Cups, you're enjoying yourself. That's the dating card as well. Three of Swords, right? Because you guys have been hurt in the past. That's also the Libran card. So you'll experience still kind of having that pain a little bit. Could have been dealing with somebody that was quite smug as well, and they wanted to keep their options open. But I think for the most part, coming into the near future, you guys are just taking care of yourselves, enjoying yourselves, because you're still experiencing a little bit of that heartbreak, okay? Somebody that maybe deceived you or left. All right, you see yourself right now as the Page of Wands in reverse. Why? Because of the Page of Cups in reverse. So see, again, I was feeling that, like slow offers coming in, moving slowly, but you guys are still mending some type of sadness or broken heart. So you see yourself right now as you know, oh, new love's not going to come in, or you're not really manifesting it, or you're not communicating, you know, somebody's not messaging, that kind of thing, but you have the page of cups here. So it's like, almost like you guys aren't manifesting new love, but it's in the environment. Page of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, a Pisces. What's this page of cups about? What's this about? The sun, Leo energy. See, you're having clarity and you are starting to heal. You're starting to see the positivity. I think that a lot of you are starting to kind of mingle again or at least thinking about it. But you're a little bit like lackluster with that page of wands in reverse. You've got the page of cups here and the sun is how you see yourself. So starting to heal, starting to gain clarity on new prospects. Now in your environment coming in, we've got the seven of cups in reverse. What is this? Why is the seven of cups in reverse? The Six of Cups. All right, so soulmate energy, somebody that you have a very strong emotional connection with. You're going to have somebody coming into your environment. A lot of you guys have already received this offer, but again, I think that you're moving slowly. You're not necessarily going to want to jump into long-term commitment. Okay, this is dating. You're still mending that broken heart. But whomever's in your environment, they see the reality of the situation. I don't think they want any other options. They see you as a very strong connection with the Six of Cups. What or who is the Six of Cups coming in for Libra? See the Ten of Pentacles. See, they want it. <laughs> it's funny because what you're going to experience coming into the near future is a lack of commitment or a lack of stability, a lack of long term. This Knight of Cups in the foundation is you guys. It's you guys just being super cautious. But this person in your environment, 
yep, they want something long term or they will. So whatever you propositions you see as young and new and fun and and kind of lively with that page of cups and the sun card, this person's going to want something long term. They're going to want to lock it down and it's going to be, you know, very stable and it has a lot of potential for the future for commitment, but you got to open yourself up to it. All right, because right now in your motions, you got the six of swords in reverse. What's this about? The queen of wands. Leo Sag Aries energy. A lot of you guys just don't see a resolution here right now with love in general. Some of you can't move on from the past or want to return. But a lot of you in your emotions too with that six of swords in reverse, you just don't see getting to that calmer, more peaceful place in regards to love. More so in your mind, right? With the six of swords in reverse. Um, the queen of wands is all about taking action and feeling confident and feeling good again and getting out there. I just think some of you aren't ready for that. Yeah, the eight of swords. See, you're still stuck, trapped maybe having some negative thoughts about whatever this went on, went on in the past, right? With that ending, new beginnings here, you guys did find balance, all right? But, and I think a lot of you, well, I say a lot of you, some of you maybe shortly reconciled with somebody, okay? But coming into the near future, I think you're going to find out that this isn't about long term. So just know that, okay? For some of you, that's already happened. And for others of you, that will be coming into the near future. But you have somebody else coming in too. We've got new love here, all right? But in your emotions, you still feel very trapped to a situation. Now, the outcome, Libra, has this Knight of Pentacles, okay? So an offer coming in. It's taking a while though, right? This is also, again, you guys being like, you know what? I'm going to take my time. I'm going to be responsible. I'm going to be very cautious with new opportunities, why is this Knight of Pentacles and the outcome for Libra? What is it and what is it now? Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse about settling down and committing. Again, that's what we saw coming to the near future. Because the Nine of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that's ready to commit. They're ready to be in a relationship. It can be a little bit like clingy, codependent. I'm not really feeling that in this outcome. I think a lot of you have new love that's trying to come in. And this person's going to want something long term. But you guys are just going to take your sweet ass time. Why is the Nine of Pentacles? And also, too, this person bringing the offer. I'm telling you this is going to evolve into something where this person wants long term nine of pentacles in reverse the magician in reverse virgo gemini energy but i think a lot of you just feel like you can't manifest it or you don't have the power or the tools right now to get it off the ground with the magician in reverse some of you just don't want it why is the magician in reverse why is this happening yeah see the king of cups i'm telling y'all scorpio cancer pisces but you, if you haven't already and there's a lot of pisces scorpio cancer with this page of cups new love right they want to try to bring happiness and positivity and clarity and make you feel like a kid again i mean the page of cups and the sun that's very light fun free-spirited energy it's nice and with that king of cups there somebody's going to be offering you the cup libra i'm telling you but there's something about the person or the situation that you guys are just kind of like, mm, can I really manifest this? I feel like your confidence is a little bit down. Who or what is this King of Cups? Who or what is the King of Cups? Who is it? The Five of Swords. See, again, you guys are, I think you, I don't feel like that Five of Swords is tied to this King of Cups. I really don't. I feel like you guys are very leery and cautious about anybody that's bringing any type of hurt, pain, sorrow, deception, or strife, or anything like that towards your way. You're very, very cautious. What's this Five of Swords? The Hermit in Reverse, sign of Virgo. Could be somebody coming back around that y'all have already dealt with. I'm not really feeling that strongly. We do have a lot of Virgo energy here. Okay, if this is somebody from the past, you guys are like, nope, not having it. There's too much pain and conflict tied to that person. So you'll know if it's a water sign, okay, that's probably what's happening. But I think for the most part, this is somebody new, but you guys are just not feeling confident. The hermit in reverse, you come back to the land of the living as well. You've gone within and secluded. See, look, here's the king of wands again. Leo, Sag, Aries, energy. Two kings in the upright, Libra. I'm telling you, I think it's the same energy. For some of you, a very small percentage of you, this is somebody you've already dealt with. But if it is, you're not having it. I think for the most part, this is somebody new. This is the Page of Cups and the Sun. It's a new offer. And again, you guys are going to move slowly. This person will want commitment, I'm telling you. What's this King of Wands about? Yeah, look at that shit. The Queen of Pentacles. 
Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, they see you in the outcome as a Queen of Pentacles. Wifey, husband, material, long-term, stable, very grounded, good with money, very career-oriented, and, you know, it's just badass energy for a love reading. You know, that King of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles, yeah, it's badass. The devil in reverse, but you're going to have to release toxicities from the past, okay? And I feel like this newer person coming in is willing to wait for you to do that, okay? They are, they're showing us very mature energy, and I'm clarifying. So this is down the road a little bit. Again, some of you have already found this new person, or they'll be coming in shortly. I don't feel like for the majority, it's somebody from the past. I know Hermit was in reverse, and that can talk about a come around, but that's also you coming back around, like to the land of the living after being secluded. Yeah, look at that. And then the Ace of Wands. So the passionate new beginning, okay? We've got a lot of Aces here, which indicate new love new opportunities so if you want it come and get it libra because it's coming it's in your environment but you're gonna have to be open to it why is the seven of swords here though in the uh overall energy who or what is this that libra was dealing with what's the seven of swords the chariot somebody that you've just moved on from could be a cancerian okay this person was causing a lot of emotional imbalance You've just given up. They were shady, deceptive, avoided, left, some shit like that. And you've just gotten in the chair and you've moved on from this person. You've got your balance back, but there's still some healing going on here. But if you guys want new love in the next couple of weeks, I think you're going to have offers come in. And I think it could lead to something long-term, stable, commitment. There's passion. There's emotion being offered. This person could be an entrepreneur. Could be somebody that, um, again, just takes action and goes for what they want. Got the Ace of Wands twice in your reading, which is a new beginning. You guys are taking a little break here, but...